everything that goes up must come down, and the International Space Station is no exception. For exactly 20 years now, the vast orbiting laboratory has been home to humans, the lucky few Earthlings who journey into the topsy-turvy realm of microgravity at any one time. Like the rest of us, the International Space Station is aging, and it also can't stay in orbit by itself forever without receiving a boost or fuel infusion from passing spacecraft. Basically, any cargo trip to the space station, or any ferry ship for that matter, will have some surplus propellant. They must have enough fuel to complete the rendezvous, and they may have extra to perform a reboot. Those flights are expected to continue at least until 2024. Because the station is a collaboration between the US, Russia, Canada, Japan, and the participating countries of the European Space Agency, the decision to retire it will always be based on both engineering and politics. While the international partner governments have permitted ISS to operate until at least December 2024 from a technical standpoint, NASA has cleared ISS to fly until the end of 2028. Moreover, NASA's investigation found no obstacles that would prevent them from extending beyond 2028 if necessary. However, the station's time will come at some point. The facility is getting older, and it's always at risk of being hit by space debris and micrometeorites. If humans do not retire it, the dangers of space will eventually do so. The plan for NASA and other involved parties to use a Russian spacecraft to deorbit the International Space Station as early as 2028 remains in question because the US does not know Russia's intentions for using the orbiting laboratory. In 2019, the NASA Safety Panel approved a plan relying on Russia to modify and launch a Progress spacecraft to lead the ISS into the atmosphere, where the majority of it would melt and the remainder would break up over the Pacific Ocean. NASA has taken a non-committal position pending greater clarification on the deorbit plan and whether Russia will still carry out the job due to uncertainty regarding future Russian participation and creating its own space station. One reason for the uncertainty is that Russia's recent activity at the space station was marked by a tense incident on July 29th when its new science and living module, the Nauka, unintentionally fired thrusters. The space station was thrown out of its normal position and spun one and a half times before engineers restored control. NASA is crossing off a list of events that must occur before the space station can leave orbit in order to prepare for its eventual destruction. They are doing the work that has to be done, one step at a time. Control during deorbit burns has already been improved thanks to software updates. At the 2017 International Astronautical Congress, a group of NASA and Roscosmos engineers presented a study assessing possible disposal alternatives. Their research is based on processes used to deorbit the Russian space station Mir in 2001. The International Space Station is roughly three times heavier. However, the plan's gist is similar to how the space station maintains its altitude during normal operations. Typically, a Russian Progress cargo ship will either burn while docked to the station or transfer fuel to the primary service module's thrusters to power the station's burn. In either case, the station will climb. Progress spacecraft would perform the same thing in a controlled deorbit, but in the other direction, reducing the station's lowest altitude. The service module thrusters could also be used depending on the precise array of ships available. These precisely planned burns would maneuver the station lower only once in its orbit, making re-entry more predictable. According to NASA, any elements of the space station that survive re-entry will fall into an area of the Pacific known as Point Nemo, which is the oceanic zone farthest from land. 
At that time, international warnings will be sent for boats and aircraft to avoid the region. Astronauts and cosmologists would prepare the space station for its final trip, attempting to keep it intact until the heat of re-entering the Earth's atmosphere could burn up all but the largest, most enormous components. If something goes wrong on the space station that can't be fixed, the organizations operating the facility will only have two weeks to figure out what to do. If you like this video, please consider subscribing and click the notification bell so you do not miss any upcoming videos.